I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the South Florida Bulls and the Auburn Tigers. Today we have an exciting EA Sports New Year's Day matchup on our hands. And here come the Tigers. The Bulls are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Auburn is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. Okay, you ready for my pick? Auburn Tigers, sweetheart. up to kick this one off and we're just about set to get underway kicks it off number two has it at the five he appears to have been injured on the play Be a long day for this left tackle as he takes on the challenge of blocking this animal at defensive end. We're going to have the opportunity to see a guy who can really create problems by getting to the quarterback. And something tells me he's going to be getting to that quarterback a lot today. He's not exactly going against the best left tackle in the history of football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Bull with four receivers. It's a direct snap. They'll bring him down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third down and seven. Ball on the 22-yard line. South Florida comes to the line with three wide. Throws it to the outside. Got it to his receiver. Brought down. And that pass and catch gives him a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 31. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Play action. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. That ball should have been picked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm that time. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being open. The ball set up in the gun. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number three lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Deep pass down the left side. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it away. Number 25, fields it to 30. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. They'll go to 
Moore at the 37. Two tight ends here. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the right. Down the sideline. Inside the 30. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. Ten. Ball on the 17. They go with a toss. They'll drop in for a loss. Great pursuit by the defense to stop the outside run. Yeah, the halfback was trying to get to the corner, but he had no luck at all there. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Nickel defense. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. And it's caught. Brought down in the open field. That's four yards on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 15-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He's rolling left, looks. Across the middle, and they'll score. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. the PAT. Over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. The score is Auburn 7, South Florida nothing. Number 37, ready to kick. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number two, fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Trips right. He drives back. Short toss. Complete. Couldn't get anything out of that. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Bull come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. They get four yards on that pass play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Setting up the play action. He rolls out to the right. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop.
First and ten. Ball on their own 46. Number three is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking across the middle, and it falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He takes off. And down he goes. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. South Florida lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Here they come. And they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find the receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and 15. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Got an opening. A nice completion there. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, that defense has got to adjust their coverage a little bit. They can't continue to let this happen. Lee, you're right. They've got to mix it up, try to confuse the timing of this offense. South Florida goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's hit and got away. And he's tackled. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. The Bulls line up in an I formation. Breaks one. He jukes him. They'll bring him down. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. The Bulls go with the I formation. And they got him for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Number three is in the zone and looking to make a play. He drops back. Throws short. Incomplete pass. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Go into the end zone. It's intercepted. Brought down. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. They'll take over at the nine yard line. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Complete tackle. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. Right. 
It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He's going left. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 17. High formation here. They'll run for the first on third and short. He's got an opening. They'll bring him down. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. First and ten, ball in the 28. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back, looking, airing it out long. Someone got a hand on it. That close to being intercepted. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up, looks. And they get the sack. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there, but I'll tell you what. The reason that play was successful was because they came with the blitz on that play. You're right. They sent one more guy than they had blockers for. The offense faces another third down here as they line up. The Tigers line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. And down he goes. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. This one away. He gets it off. Number 23 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 43. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 43 yard line. South Florida comes to the line with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Rolls to the left. He wants the long ball. Is it too high? No, he got it. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thick and run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Bulls come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Almost intercepted. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. Second and 10, ball on the 18. The Bulls come out in the ace formation, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Now that's 
some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 22. Number three lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. He steps up, looking, throws it deep downfield. The wide out makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. South Florida is ready to kick it away. Number one and number 25 back deep to return, and they'll be returning this one. Number 25 fields it at the two. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll get the ball here at the 17-yard line. Auburn sets up in the eye. Throws to the middle. To the middle. It's his tight end. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. High formation here. Make the move. And he's tackled. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. They go with a pitch to the right, and it's caught, and they hit him in the backfield. Auburn takes a timeout. Two minutes to go in the half. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. Drops back to pass. Looks. He's going left. Got it. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten, ball on the 23. Ace backfield, he drops back, steps up, he's looking. Throws this one out to the left, and he dropped it. There is no excuse for dropping a pass. Yeah, and that ball had some heat on it. I don't care. Drop passes are inexcusable.
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Tigers come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Stepped up in the pocket. Looking. He tosses it short. Complete. Touchdown, Auburn! So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Seven is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll start this drive at the 22. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And he brings it down. And they push him out. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Bulls go with the I formation. Nice play fake. Over the middle. And down he goes. I thought I was paying attention here, but I looked up and pow! The guy's got 100 yards receiving already. When did that happen? Coach, I'm wondering the same thing. He's having a great game out there today. South Florida goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. Waits till the last moment. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. And he's going to be sacked. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback is going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Third down and 12. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Don't be surprised to see this defensive end wreak havoc back there. It's tipped, and it's incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. South Florida lining up the punt. Number 47 boots it way up there. Number three calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the offense heading back out out of the field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll go to work at the 20. Yeah. 
The Tigers come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Throws. It falls incomplete. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Auburn comes out with an eye formation. He's into the open field. At the 40, across midfield. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. What an amazing run. How about the fact that not one player on the entire defense even touched it? Kirk, you've got 11 guys on the field, and he just flew by all of them. Tax on the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. to kick number 21 and number two back ready to return he sends this one deep number 21 fields it in the end zone they're just about ready to get this drive started after their last series had some promise but it ended with a punt they'll set up shot at the 26 first and 10 The Bulls come out in the ace formation. Cut. 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 On the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. South Florida calls a timeout. Right. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 30. The Bull come out in the ace formation. Drop back to pass. Across the middle. Lost the ball. Fumble. Scooped up by the defense. And that turnover has got to hurt. Yep, they want to rack up some points before the half, but it's not going to happen now. Not when they turn the ball over. That's not what you're looking for. That's a shot to the morale of this team. It's bad enough they were already losing going into the half. Goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, looks. Going deep on the left side. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. What an athletic play by the lineup. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. Realizing high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Auburn 28, South Florida 7. Auburn 
Ready to kick this one off. Number 21. And number two. Deep to return. He hits a booming kick. Number two. Fields it in the end zone. I'm sure the defense will be trying to strip the ball once again. If these kids don't start hanging out to the football, they won't see another offensive soon. They might start putting in some of those defensive players that really want to play bad. Number three is back in the gun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. Some second half adjustments definitely needed in this one. Our score, Auburn, 28, South Florida, 7. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number one, pass it at the five. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Toss. Little shake and bake move. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good play there by the defense. This is just a toss to the tailback. But the defense gets a good read on his play and was able to stop him for a loss. Second down and 14. Ball on the 19. Auburn comes out with two tight ends. Nice play fake. And he's going to come up with a sack. So the defensive end gets a big play there. This is exactly what you want to create when you send the extra man like they did here. That allowed the end to burst into the backfield for a big sack. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. Auburn goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He rolls left. Over the middle. It's tipped. Dangerous, dangerous throw there. Give credit to the defense. They did a good job out there. This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was wrong. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 23, fields at the 44. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. From the gun. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. Yeah, you're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. They'll get the ball here at the 15-yard line. Auburn comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Setting up the play action. He throws it. He got it! At the 40. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. With that last reception, he's now over the 1,000-yard mark for the season. He's having a pretty good year, Coach. A good year? This kid is having an excellent season. First 
and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Tigers line up in an I formation. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Still the defense the lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First down and five to go. Ball on the 29. to the right side over the middle got it and they make the stop nice decision by the quarterback not only was it good decision making but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target and when you combine the two it'll be a first down nine out of ten times Auburn goes with the ace set here they'll throw on first down steps up in the pocket wants to throw outside brings it in touchdown the wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. Tax on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. like they're ready for the kickoff. Number two, back to return. Kicks it off. Number 21, fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 20. Number three, lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And the big fella gets a sack. Boy, for being such a hog molly, he can move a lot better than I thought. Oh, yeah, Kirk. You didn't call him hog molly when you saw him at the hotel. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 16. The Bull come out showing three wide. He's going left. Found his man. And he's tackled. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number two lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He steps up, looking, rolling out to the left side. And it's caught. Tackle. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number three is back in the gun. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And he can't hang on to it. 
Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and nine. This is the fifth play of this drive. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. He fires right, complete, and he's taken down. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Seven, gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll start this drive at the 39. Yeah. Two tight ends here. down. What do you think of this guy, Lee? Brad, this kid can play on my team any day, and I'll tell you why. He's almost guaranteed 100 yards rushing every time out. Right. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Yeah. Number 12 comes to the line right. with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Waits till the last moment. It's deflected, and that one's fallen incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 46. Auburn lines up in a double tight set. And they make the stop. They get about 10 yards on that play. Third it's third and inches. Ball on the 36-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Again with the run, Jukbu, and he's tackled. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. It's first and 10, ball on the 30. Auburn lines up with three receivers. They'll throw on first down. Incomplete pass. The blitz was very effective that time. Yep, they brought the house, and it was all he could do to get the ball out of there. Second and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. High formation here. There's a play fake. Down the middle. Gets past the tackler, and down he goes. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, Auburn 35, South Florida 7. The offense.
offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Boy, that was a bad looking play. It all starts with the big guys up front. You got to get onto your blocks. That brings up second and goal. Ball on the 16. Auburn lines up in a double tight set. Nice play fake. Throws it out there. He's got the fullback. Jake's off a tackle, and he's taken down. They complete that play-action pass. Good for seven yards. Auburn comes out with three receivers bunched. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looks to the end zone. It's deflected. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Seven, lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up. And it's right down the middle. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary on how that drive took place. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. Number two fields it in the end zone. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, he had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. A little juke. Tackle. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Second and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number three. Back in the gun. They go with the run. He jukes it. And they make the stop. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 28. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Three plays, zero first down. Not what they had in mind. Well, this defense looks very impressive right now. They suffocated the offense that go around. The Bull are lining up to punt it away. Number 47 gets it off, and it's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Excellent field position to start the drive. High formation here. Inside give. He can scoop. Makes a move. The 10. Touchdown, Auburn. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. Can't get much better than that.
and he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Auburn 45, South Florida 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. Number five fields it in the end zone. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Flipping on the receiving team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. They'll get the ball here at the seven. They've decided to go with a different quarterback. Back to pass. He gets the pass away. It falls incomplete. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. That defense was about to plant him into the ground. He's lucky he even got that ball off. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the seven. South Florida sets up in the eye. Play action, rolls right. He lets it go, and it's caught. Has some daylight. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Complete. They'll bring him down. Good job on the pass there. Yeah, let me tell you something. These passes are exactly what they need to put pressure on that defense. Second and two. Ball on their own 28. The Bulls come out in the ace formation. Tackle. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. It's first and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Bull line up with three wide. Looks like he's gonna run. Here he goes. At the 40. Inside the 30. And he's tackled. And that was a spectacular run by the quarterback. You know what? When that quarterback saw all that open field in front of him, he went, gone. Gone is right. I didn't hear him whistle, but it was certainly a big run. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Counterplay. This tackle. Brought down. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. Comes to the line with three wide. They go with the option. There he goes. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. What a nifty, nifty run by the field general, guys. It sure was. He's got a lot of talent in those legs. And 
he hits the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Auburn 45, South Florida 14. South Florida lined up for the onside kick. With the onside kick. They'll take over at the 44. They line up in an eye on the ground with the tailback. A little shake and bake move. They'll bring him down. The halfback runs for four yards. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. They line up in an eye. tackled a five-yard pickup for the tailback third and one ball on the 35-yard line they're lining up in the One's all wrapped up. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Auburn looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Auburn 45, South Florida 14. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.